Yeah, shout out my nigga Fumes. Uh. Um, um. Um, hey, what's going on guys, Dick Learn. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect you have just seen on screen. Now, today is going to be another no face cam video because I just find these way easier to make. And uh, you guys I don't really appear to care if I have face cam or not, so I'm going to start phasing those out gradually. Uh, but yeah, before we get into the video, I just like to remind you guys to please do hit that subscribe button if you do end up enjoying the video, uh, as it really does help me out. So uh, yeah, just to start off by making the effect, we're going to want to just drag in our song. And we're going to want to just make sure that our kill beat is like roughly 6 seconds 30 into the um, the, the, the project essentially. And uh, after that you want to go to the 3 second mark exactly and make a, uh, a marker. Now from here what you're going to want to do is just drag in your clip. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get one from my uh, folder right here. Drag in your clip. And also what you need to do is you need to drag in a wood texture just like that and just make sure that you drag that down there. If it has those black bars, just right click on it, properties and maintain aspect ratio, just uncheck that. And now as you can see, it's like completely fine. So just make sure that that is up to the three second mark. And uh, now what we need to do is we need to just go ahead and trim the clip. Fuck, we need to go ahead and trim the clip so that the actual uh, kill is on this beat right here. Uh, so just go ahead and drag it there, just like that, and I'll go ahead and drag this in. And uh, now what we need to do is we need to split the clip right here. Just go ahead and split it right there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the audio track for this. I, it's just way easier for me. I'm just going to add the sound effects later. Uh, but if you really do want to keep it, you can, you know, keep it as it is. Uh, now what you need to do is you need to make uh, a new video track right there. Go ahead and just drag that in and then drag this part just up a bit. And now go here, click on the track motion, uh, go ahead and drag this window out a bit. And what we need to do now is we need to make the, uh, the video a whole lot smaller. So I would recommend you make the video uh, roughly this big, but I would also recommend that you have sort of a reference point here, because unless you're planning on track motioning in something else uh, in Vegas, you pretty much have to do it manually unless you want to go through a whole lot of shit. So just make sure you have like a reference point for me that's going to be lining up the right side with this crevice right here. So mine is going to be roughly this big. Just make sure it is centered as well. Let's go ahead and delete the first part. And now we should just have this for three seconds and then uh, that. So now what we need to do is just go uh, up here. We can just drag this up essentially and make sure that the, uh, the middle line just keeps going up with these dots. Uh, as you can see, there's dots right here and we have a middle line. So just make sure that it does go up and that the line is lined up. Now go ahead and just go to pretty much the two, the, or the 145 ish part, I would say. And, uh, then just go ahead and drag, actually, no, go to the one set, one, one, one second, 30, one second, 30, I think is fine. Uh, you can play around with the timings, of course, but I'm just trying to remember what I had it on earlier. And then just go ahead and get it back to its original position right there. If we go ahead and play this back, it should look very linear. Just like that. I'm going to go ahead and set this too fast, and we'll see. Alright, well, that was just way too slow, so I'm going to go ahead and do that again. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, as you can see, it is set to, we need to set that to fast, and we need to go to the smoothness right here. Set it to 50. Uh, then if we go ahead and play this back, it, it shouldn't look too bad. It's not going to look perfect, of course, because it is Vegas, but it should look something like that. Uh, and now what we need to do is we need to make a new video track and go ahead and drag that right above the triplet right here. Then go ahead and click on this, click on duplicate track and delete the clip that is right there. Now we should have two video tracks just like that. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and go into my browser and I'm going to go ahead and download this paper texture. Uh, this will be in the description as well as along uh, or alongside the wood texture. Uh, so just make sure that you have those. Uh, now this should just completely cover the, uh, the video if you've done it correctly. So if you play it back, just like that. And now we go ahead and go here. We just make a marker roughly there and then we just go probably to 30 seconds forward probably 
uh, split split the paper only don't split the, the clips with the paper go ahead and fade this in then go ahead and go into transitions tab and search for gradient uh gra gradient wipe then go ahead and scroll down the presets until you see nebulous go ahead and drag that in and then go ahead and just play around with the threshold blend it should be quite high just like that and now we have the sort of fade uh, this sort of fade out thing let's go and see how it looks just like that. That was very quick. So let's go ahead and fade it out until it actually gets in. So let's see. Like that. We can also go ahead and make it significantly longer. We want to make sure everything is as smooth as possible. So just go and play around with the timings yourself and just select what you think looks best. Just like that. And now, uh, once we have that, uh, we want to make a marker just sort of on the two second mark. Just like that. And uh, now what we want to do is just split the uh, the clip. We want to split the clip uh, right here when this frame or when this keyframe is. And we want to split it. Or we don't want to split it realistically, but we want to have a marker right here. So now, now what you want to do is just go ahead and go into your plugins and search for black and white. Go ahead and drag default on so that it is black and white. Uh, then go ahead and just go here. Uh, is anywhere in between here uh, just go ahead and keyframe the blend amount and set it to zero at the end right here so now it should just sort of should just sort of fade out i'd say uh it should be relatively smooth uh but yeah and now you can want to go here and search for cartoon and we should have cartoon look just go ahead and drag that on as well and now just go to the exact same place where you had the, uh, what's it called? The blend amount. And go ahead and go down here to mix with original. Just keyframe it. Uh, it should be at zero right here. Then you go to the end and set it to 100. And now it should just sort of smooth fade out right here. Uh, so essentially now what we want to do is we want to add some text to the bottom right here. So just go ahead and make a new video track. I uh, want to drag the song down because it's a bit confusing. And uh, I'm going to want to go ahead and just delete that. Fuck it. And right here, I want to make a text media and use the font Wonder Tucker. I find is the best for this. Or, I mean, there's probably a lot of good ones, but I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to do the uh, the song name, which I believe is um, actually I have no clue what it is. It is plugged in, I think. Or that's just it's something. It's what it was called. I have no clue. Plugged in just like that. And uh, now what we want to do is just want to drag that down to here. We want to go to sort of where we can see the entire thing. Just put it like right here, really. And it just makes sure it's sort of centered. And now just go ahead and drag drop shadow onto it. Just like that. I wouldn't really, um, I wouldn't really animate it too much because we're going to do that a bit later. Uh, but it's up to you if you want to add something yourself. Uh, then just go ahead and split that text right here. There should be a very very distinct like sort of split here uh, So make sure you have that uh, Now there is a step that you can do that I have done in the intro and that is to add a drop shadow to this And essentially what you have to do is it's very very complicated uh, But you it, it's it's not that complicated, but it's way way more complicated than it needs to be realistically uh, You need to add a full solid and instead of using the crop tool to decrease the size, you need to mask out this exact shape and animate it alongside the this entire thing. And then you add drop shadow onto that shape and you add a whole lot of blur. And then you can sort of see the outside. Uh, it's very complicated and the project file for the initial thing will be in the description so you can go ahead and see what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, so if you're interested in that, just go ahead and go down there, down the part file as well. But right now, if you just go and play it back, it should look something uh, like this, hopefully. Just like that. And uh, essentially, now we're pretty much done with this specific part. Uh, there are a couple things we need to do. Obviously, we need to add an impact here. Uh, but the most important thing is just add a beat shake right here when it goes in. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a, a beat shake right there. And if we play it back, it should like look something like this. Shouldn't be too harsh, but it shouldn't be too like light either. 
just like that. And once we're done with that, we can go ahead and just render the entire thing out. Now, this might be a bit weird for some of you guys, uh, but it really is what we should do. So just go ahead and render it out, and uh, I'll see you guys when the render is done. All right, the render is now done. I've gone ahead and opened it up in a new project, but if you're making this and you know your own highlight, you're just gonna drag it back into the same project and essentially just delete everything else. Uh, but just go ahead and open it up in a new project first before you delete everything so you know what you're doing. Uh, that's my recommendation anyway. And yeah, so as you can see right here, we just have this. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys a couple things you can do to make, just make it a whole lot better. So first off, fade it in by quite a bit just like that uh and we can just go ahead and see it, it, it does make it a whole lot better if you fit it in uh but what we want to do now is go to where the actual uh sort of beat shake happened we want to split split the entire thing right here and we also want to go back to sort of here where it just when it starts fading which is going to be right there and now what we want to do is we need to go up here and search for blur more curves Go ahead and drag that onto this. Uh, now go ahead and keyframe the Z distance and make sure that the center point is right in the middle of the thing. Now just go ahead and drag the Z distance in until all you can see is the clip. So let's see 490, uh, 480, 475. So we're gonna do 475. And now just go ahead and set this to slow and change the center duration to one. And if we go ahead and see how it looks, it should be sort of smooth I guess just like that and sort of like that now the reason we did a pre-render is firstly because of the the zoom in it's much much easier to do and also the text is sort of automatically motion tracked to the bottom which is always good and uh that is really essentially it except for the uh the impact uh obviously i i would recommend that you either put your ident just above here or that you put it like right here before the uh the kill but yeah that's that's really it uh thank you guys so so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy talk down below come subscribe all that good shit, and i'll see you guys in a couple days and peace